All right. Thank you, everybody, for being here. We are on to a new lesson, a new unit, right? We're talking about circles now. So make sure you have paper and pencil out ready to go as we get started on these notes. So first thing we're going to do is, of course, identify the notes name, which is called circles, right? With the focus on arcs and central angles, right? With the focus on arcs and central angles. So let's take a look at some key terms that we need to know about a circle. Obviously, you guys know this is the circle here, right? Not perfect. So we have a diameter, which is the line that goes right down the middle of a circle from one point all the way to the other side of the circle. That's called a diameter. We have a radius, which goes from the center of the circle down to over to the side of the circle. That's called the radius of the circle. Okay. We have a chord that goes from one point of the circle over to the other another point in, uh, on the circle. Doesn't, but not down the middle though. Right? Well, technically, the diameter is a special kind of chord that goes right down the middle, but all the other ones that go from one side of a circle to another is called a chord. Okay? A secant is a line that goes through a circle. Right? This is called a secant. And then a tangent is a line that touches the circle on the outside. Okay? So those are. That's some vocabulary for circles. Next, another two, another pair, another vocabulary word is called semicircle. And I'm sure you guys know exactly what that means. So if I cut a circle down the middle, just like that, it forms half a circle. That's called a semicircle. So a circle has two semicircles, one there and one there, right? A semicircle is 180 degrees. So if this semicircle is 180 degrees and this semicircle is also 180 degrees, total we get 360, right? So a circle is equal to 360 degrees. A semicircle or a half a circle, right, is equal to 180 degrees, right? Semicircle, 180, circle, 360, okay? Next thing, we're going to learn about arcs, right? So an arc is a piece of the circle, it's a piece of the outside. Think of a pizza, think of a crust. The arc is a pizza crust, right? So we have a minor arc, which goes from one point to another point, right? That's a minor arc. The arc is less than 180. If you notice, this is 180, right? When we go, we start here and we go to the other side of the circle, that's a semicircle. If the arc is less than a semicircle, it's called a minor arc. If the arc is more than a semicircle, then it's called a major arc. You see, that goes all the way there. And so then this minor arc is arc AB. So we call this, let me go a little thinner here. We call this arc AB. AB with a little arc over it like that. Look at that. That's minor arc AB major arc, arc that goes more than 180, you do with three letters, A, C, B. Arc A, C, B. This is a major arc, right? Minor arc less than 180, major arc greater than 180. Now, the cool thing about arcs is that they are equal to the central angle. Now, a central angle is made when you get two points and they both connect in the middle like this and forms an angle. And it's the angle is formed in the center of the circle. That's why it's called a central angle. And what's cool about the central angle is that it is equal to the arc. 
So if the arc is 20, then the central angle is 20. If the central angle is 100, then the arc is 100, right? So we say the central angle is equal to the arc, right? The central angle is equal to the arc, right? So that means that this huge major, major angle here is equal to that central angle, right? Angle formed in the center. So we're going to keep that in mind when we do our examples here. All right. So let's look a look, take a look at our first example. So the instructions say, name the arc made by the given angle. Okay, so let's take a look here. So let me go a little thinner here. And this says, angle UQW. UQW, right? UQW. So let's take a look here. U. Let's go this U Q W. Now this says major arc. Remember, I can go this way from U to W, but that's not a major arc. Remember, a major arc is more than 180, right? More than half the circle. So the let's go with the same color here major arc is going to go from u to t around to s to w right right so u around to t to s to w now remember we only need three letters right we only need three letters so we're going to say angle u q w is equal to arc you can say u t w or you can say u s w so i'll go with that one u s w and look at that they are equal to each other all right they are equal to each other and because it said major arc right u q w is equal to angle u q w is equal to angle u S W. All right, let's take a look at our next example here, which says we are going to find the measure of the arc indicated. Assume that lines which appear to be the diameter are actually the diameter. So if we have lines that look like, like look like the diameter, then they're the diameter. So let's take a look here. So they want us to find this arc right here, right? That's why it says question mark. Well, what is that arc? Well, remember kiddos that the arc is equal to the central angle, is equal to the central angle. So since the arc here is 35, that means that the central angle is equal to the arc. And the central angle here is 35. So that means that question mark is equal to 35 degrees. And there you go. Look at that. Because the arc is equal to the central angle. They are the same. Right? The arc is equal to the central angle. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Two examples down. Let's do one more. Or two more, right? Let's do the next one. All right. Next set of instructions say here. Name the central angle of the given arc. Okay, this one's backwards. Now they give us the arc. Right? Now use this says U W. U W. Now, there's a couple ways that I can do UW. I can do UW this way, or I can do UW this way. Why do I know, kiddos, this is not correct? 
because look from here to here is more than half the circle it has to say major arc here it would have to say major arc just like this one look major arc so since it does not say major arc then i'm going to go from right i'm going to go from this u to that w right there right from this u to that w now this says name the central angle okay so i'm going to name the central angle where is that angle well if you notice the angle is formed from u it's got to go to the center right it's got to go to the center here and it goes to w look at that there's our angle u q w u q w so we say angle arc i mean u w is equal to central angle u q w and there you go look at that u w is equal to u q w again we went this way, right? Because it's a minor arc, not a major arc. And it went from U, it's got to go to the center, central angle, then to W. U, Q, W. Name the central angle. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. One more, kiddos. This time for sure, I promise. One more. Okay. So, it says, find the measure of the central angle indicated. Okay. Assume that lines which appear to be diameters are actually diameters. Okay. So, in this case, look, this looks like a diameter. They're saying it absolutely is a diameter. They're saying this is, looks like a diameter. It absolutely is a diameter. Okay. So, what are we looking for here, kiddos? We are looking for this question mark right here. We're looking for this angle here, right? We're looking for this angle which is formed by those two legs right here. Well, what arc is connected to that angle? You see it. I see it. Let me just highlight it right here. Look at that this arc is connected to this angle so that means that question mark is equal to there you go question mark is equal to 50 50 degrees there you are okay and that is the lesson right now make sure that in your work you must draw the triangle Right? I want to see triangles because I want to see you guys draw on your triangles. I want to make sure that you're understanding, okay, that you're understanding the angles, the central angles, the arcs, the major arcs, the minor arcs, okay? Thank you guys for being here, All right? Make sure you take good notes. You got this. See you next time.